Is this on? Here. Yeah. Uh, there was one thing that I, I need to share with, with everybody before the night's over that I didn't have a chance. I, I wanted to say it when I was up earlier, but you, you mentioned that the the previous Academy Award nominations, and I think everybody should hear what your what your acceptance speech would have been that had you. Oh yeah. For, for years. What I, Yeah, for years I thought the perfect speech would be. The, I, I have two things I'd like to say. The first is that I've always hated this award and everything it's ever stood for. <laughs> and the second thing I'd like to say is this is the happiest moment of my life. Yeah, but one word, uh, uh, I just want to say that nothing has ever made me happy than working with my, 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 my children. Uh, I've worked with a lot with that, both as, as, a, as actors, I've directed them a couple of times. It's in every case been glorious, and the same is true f for working with his brothers, Matthew and, and Tony. It's, uh, it's one of my great joys. What's happened very often is during, uh, um, when I'm when I talk to the producers, I'm like, oh, we don't know. I mean, a fluid sibling, you know, it's a, what do they call it? What do they call it? Uh, <laughs> nepotism, yeah, nepotism. And, and the minute they're hired, they realize that an enormous amount of time has been saved because we have a shorthand between us. It's very incredibly comfortable. Is that whatever issues we've had between us, they have never appeared for a second in our work relationships. Interestingly. Yeah, and one of the great joys of my life. Hi, hi, Alan. Thanks for being here, and thanks for, I mean, all the work you've done is clearly apparent. You're very intelligent, and you just seem very developed, and I'm very grateful. And you're a woman grateful. of exquisite taste. <laughs> <laughs> I regret that I can't be in your improv class, so I hope you come back, because I love it. I love the art form. Um, I, I see reality TV as this other movement into getting into people really in a raw way and immediately. And I see a lot of harm that it's done in our culture. Yeah. On the other hand, um, I've been the subject of a documentary film and worked through some issues with it. But then, you know, I, I try not. Uh, I've been the subject of a documentary film, documentary film, and so I've worked through some issues in a reality format. Yeah. Um, but I, I think there's a lot of harm done with it too. And you spoke about, you know, that that harm. I just I think in reality TV, are people waking up to that yet? I don't know. It's, I mean, it seems like if it's for an actor, dangerous, that for an untrained person that doesn't really understand it. Well, we, don't have, we haven't had a television set in our house for 10 years. So, so you're not watching it? <laughs> well, we're in a hotel, it's like you know, somebody's off drugs. We tell you, we're television, oh yeah. <laughs> well, we love television. We went for about a half an hour, and then I can't believe what I'm saying, so we shut it off and mind our own business. Mind your own business. Do <laughs> Hi. Um, thanks for your work. And I was watching that montage of your films and realized I've just never caught you acting. It's, it, you're wonderful. And you've spoken of doing improv. And I would like to ask you about speaking how improv has worked with your films, such as Little Miss... Uh, Sunshine, Did, was your improv work in that, or was it all scripts? I, I, I don't use improv if something's working. Uh, okay. If something's working, I, I won't go, I don't, I, there's no need to do There was a couple of lines I improvised in uh, in Little Miss Sunshine. After take 15 or 20, I just started playing a little bit. Nobody seemed to mind. But by and large, that script, I, uh, that script was 99 and a half out of 100%. Boom, right there. Norman, Norman, on uh, my first movie, Norman sometimes just wouldn't say cut. And I just felt, I was so scared that I just felt I had to keep acting until it said cut. So the, we'd run out of script and I'd just keep doing stuff. <laughs> and, a, and a couple of things ended up in the movie. And, that, and I was so green I won. I couldn't, stop, I couldn't stop moving around. So Norman made me stand in the, I don't remember this. Norman would make me stand in an apple crate. And, uh, I wanted to stop moving around so much. You remember that? Yeah. <laughs> you, love to, you love to move and act. I've never <laughs> seen an actor move so much in the cameras. We're always. 
I hadn't done too many films. I, I've done any films. But Norman created an atmosphere that I've never seen. The whole when we shot in Fort Bragg, California. And everybody was, Fort Bragg, how dare you? It was supposed to be New England. How dare you? It's a movie. It's not a reality. We shot it in Fort Bragg, California. So what? Uh, uh, but Norman would have to, the whole 